Good morning, it's Joe. It's Thursday morning, I think the 26th of October. And I'm out here um, looking at my drainage ditch. This video is dedicated to an old friend, Rich Lyon, who read the description of what I was doing. Then we ended up having a delightful phone call, catching up, but as if we had not even uh, spoken for a period of more than 24 hours. I, Rich, I've always enjoyed talking with you and I consider you a dear friend. That's why I'm saying more about this here. Uh, the ditch in question is not the caliber of a California ditch. You know, you think of that river that runs through LA that they've got encased in concrete, which is always appears in all these chase scenes in movies. This ain't it. Uh, it's seasonal and it depends a lot on rainfall or snow melt. Now the source of the water for the ditches, I'm right by the road and there's two things. One is there's a culvert in there because the stream actually originates on the other side of the road and it drains probably three or four hundred acres of Gordon Hill, which I live on the Gordon Hill Road. And so there is a brook that comes down that way when the water's high. Next is, you'll see there's sort of a track along the side. And this track drains stuff from the street. And it kind of diverts down this chute into here. And yesterday there was quite a bit of water coming down there. As a matter of fact, some of it didn't make it there and went all the way around. Now it stopped raining and the water's already gone down, but my concern has been, and I'm going to show you in a minute, that last year this actually got probably two or even three feet higher than it presently is. That was at the period when I had water, maximum water in the cellar. Now I've put in gutters in the house uh, to kind of drain the water away as well, but I did notice that some water got into the cellar from right around the foundation as opposed to how high the water level would be. So now lest you think I've been moving hundreds of yards of dirt by hand, 